Hi, I'm Jeff Sangstack, the author of this Infinite Skills course on using Cinema 4D Lite with the Creative Cloud version of After Effects. This course is for After Effects Creative Cloud users who want to get up to speed on using Cinema 4D Lite. Cinema 4D Lite is a 3D creation and animation product that's now included with After Effects. Now, if you're a longtime user of After Effects, you know that its 3D features are not quite full 3D. Some folks like to call After Effects 3D 2.5D, like 2D layers in 3D space. For example, we've got some 2D text here in 3D space. I can rotate it around and you can see it does throw shadows and light plays off it. And it looks pretty cool, but, you know, when you look at it sideways, it disappears because it's just 2D. And that's just the way it's been for a long, long time. With CS6, that changed. In CS6, you've got something called the Ray Trace 3D Render that allows you to extrude shapes and text, which is pretty cool. Here's some text that's been extruded. You can see it's got various colors on it, on the bevel and on the back and on the sides. And it, too, can play with lights and throw shadows, what have you. So now the Creative Cloud version of After Effects comes with Cinema 4D Lite. It's a full-blown 3D creation and animation product built in at no extra charge. It's really pretty exciting. The caveat is that Cinema 4D Lite has a steep and long learning curve. Even if you've worked in 3D, it'll take you some effort to become fluent working with Cinema 4D Lite. So my goal for this course is to help you get comfortable working in Cinema 4D. I'll present the fundamentals, how to create 3D objects, change their appearance, animate them, and add lights and cameras. I'll explain the After Effects Cinema 4D workflow and show you some additional Cinema 4D features that take advantage of this specially designed Cinema 4D interface that operates inside After Effects. In addition, I'll introduce you to some advanced features, like this Body Paint 3D that comes with Cinema 4D Lite, and also the advanced animation features that have this very elaborate timeline. But I won't dive deeply into these features. To do so would go beyond the scope of this course. My guess is that if we at Infinite Skills sense that there's a demand from After Effects users for more advanced instruction, we'll provide it. In the meantime, we've got plenty of stuff to do, so let's get started working with Cinema 4D Lite.